I really hate my setup. But anyway, third video. I'm gonna have to do many because my camera. And now I run outside. Let's go. Yeah, I, I was saying in the last video, but it stopped. So now it's the third video. And I think I'm also gonna show some of the games I'm actually being pushing through that, or I cannot really believe I actually beat them. And uh, how boring they were, and how bad they were. I think yeah, I'm gonna make like a, a list of top 50 worst games. And maybe top 50 good games, but I don't think I can find 50 good games out of all this, to be honest. Like, uh, average rating for me is 1 point out of 10. Half a star out of 5. Uh, honest. Uh, people know me, say it's game of the year when I give them like 2 3 stars. Yes, that's true. I think I rate like 2 3 games in my life full point. So, yeah, I'm very critic. Like, and I rate the games different than most people. I rate them for how much I enjoy them. Not what other people think about the game, not the graphics, not the music. Gameplay I rate them most. Like, was it fun for me? And yeah, that was not fun, getting tossed by that other guy. Like, uh, if a game is really boring for me and I play it anyway, uh, I don't enjoy my time, obviously, why should I give it a... Then they fail. They don't even make the game fun for me. Uh, and that's why I cannot give them good score. Uh, I don't look like what other people think, like, oh, I know a lot of people think this game is good. I should rate it 3 star, 4 star, 5 star, full point. No. Um, I don't look like uh, they put a lot of work into a game. If the game is no fun, I should not give it good score. The game should be fun. So, obviously a game I don't like, maybe other people love. Because it depends on what what kind of games you, you, you enjoy playing. And I really enjoy playing role-playing games. Like Star Ocean. Oh, that grind took forever. Um, Lost Odyssey is really one of my favorite games. That's one of few games I gave 5 star. It's the best 360 game in my opinion. You should try it if you haven't played it and you're into role playing games. There is one achievement in that game that actually is time consuming and very annoying because you really need to find every collectible and you might not know where you didn't find one. Anyway, back to this game. So hopefully I can beat this this time. Uh, I did fail one way, but maybe I can still get most points. So yeah, I, I think I'm gonna make like a video of uh, my, also a list, maybe the top 10, uh, top 20 or whatever, toughest games I've done, that I actually beat. Um, and uh, then I maybe show all the games I actually give up on. I hate to give up on a game of beating it. and. Uh, out of all games, it's the list is 21. So after this game, I'm actually gonna try to beat uh, two or three games I gave up on that I think I can beat. One of them is Ikaruga, a really tough game. Another game is Astro Pop. I got one achievement uh, I, I, I couldn't do. Uh, you need to survive for like six minutes in some puzzle thing. Really boring too. I think I can do that, maybe. Uh, oh shit. So. Uh, that is uh, one one thing I'm gonna do, and uh, because my goal was originally, oh my god, my goal was originally not uh, to avoid wave seven. I'm not even aware of what I'm doing actually. Um, my my goal was originally not to give up the more than twenty games, and uh, I failed because I give up on twenty one. But that's why I need to beat one or two of them. Uh, another game I give up, gave up, but I, I don't really count as uh, give up. Um, it's a hole in the wall, a really bad arcade game. There is one achievement that can only unlock if you're lucky, like it's unobtainable really. But there is a glitch and like <laughs> uh, one or two people managed to unlock it doing some weird stuff. Uh, I tried, but I couldn't get it to unlock, uh, and uh, so I gave up. But I really don't consider that game a game I failed on because it's like partially unobtainable. 
and uh, so I decided not to count games like that with unobtainables offline servers shutting down because I cannot do anything about it. That's up to each uh, gamer I think. Some people think uh, that they are not completed but I consider them complete because I've done everything that is possible to do. That's how I look at it for my own satisfaction. So um, yeah. So that's uh, it, it with... Oh come on, maybe I need to stop talking. <sighs> So um, yeah, Hole in the Wall was one of those games, so so it's actually maybe 22, depending on how you look at it, but 21, 21, and I want to have at least maximum 20, and I think maybe I can beat Ikaruga, maybe, and maybe I can beat Astropop. Uh, I could maybe beat Street Fighter 2 Hyper Edition, but beating the entire game without losing a round, <sighs> I hate to go reach far and then start all over, start all over. I hate this kind of thing. And fighting games is not really something I enjoy to makes it even worse. So I gave up on that one. Maybe I can beat it actually. Like uh, maybe four or five games, I think I gave up a little bit too easy. Like Droplets is the one game I gave up after only like few hours, that, that is crazy. I just couldn't do it. Seven achievements I couldn't get out of 12, that's just insane. Uh, but I'm not going back to that one. Uh, but that's very... That's not... No, that's something I not easily do, give up on games. Like Spelunky was another game I really tried to finish and it was so difficult. I didn't even enjoy it. I know it's a really good game for many people. But I actually managed to beat it. Except I don't have all the achievements. I save up some easy things to do so I can unlock the remaining achievements anytime I want very quick. Uh, and that's something I look forward to do a lot. I, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna sh stream that or something when I unlock all my achievements that I saved up for different games. It's gonna be exciting. And I need a better setup, of course. Now I'm just recording with a normal camera, so it's, uh, that's the only reason I actually didn't stream or didn't do videos or anything because I haven't really prepared anything like good setup. But I just want to show this. And now I'm suddenly doing much better. Yeah, let's go. And uh, now this one should be done. Play five. Very good. New rewards. I got gold. That means I'm a professional. Good gold. Nine, uh, eight, nine, ten left. Oh my god, only three left. Whoa, I wonder how many videos uh, I'm gonna have to do. Uh, I think my camera can only have like 10 minutes, then it stops automatically. Uh, what's, what, what, what's this? Okay. Hey, you, you wear my clothes. You cannot do that. You just have different, that, that's not right. 32 is better. Come on, come on, come on. Ah! He made me finish last. That's not nice. It's very unfair. And he's my teammate. He has the same clothes. What, what? That's his mom. Yeah. This is how it should be. I should be winning. Look at the top left. That's the name of my guy. Like, Weiner. Huh. I wouldn't want that name. Sorry, if your name is Weiner. Um, Weiner Dixon. That would be a fun name. Okay, here we go. I didn't just say that. Okay, uh, let's... Okay, there is a guy there. I have to avoid. Hmm, nice. You can press right analog and do like this, and avoid them. That's how actually you should, are supposed to play this game. And yeah, I'm doing really good now. I'm gonna finish this soon, I think. That's just amazing. Oh, why did I celebrate too early? I didn't see that guy. Uh, I'm gonna finish this too soon, and then I'll run into that guy, obviously. Uh, failed because of that. I celebrate too early, typical me. Oh my god, now I have to restart again, that is so fun. But this is nothing compared to the other game modes. They're really tough. Maybe I show one. Maybe I show one before I do the final way, just for the thing of it. Not when I'm showing this game. Backbreaker Vengeance. And I don't know why when I scroll the game list to start this game, it's just a BBV2, I don't know why. Why it doesn't say Backbreaker. And 
Let's go. That's mad though.